guys, I'm JV and this is my channel Wasting Gas. Today I'm going to talk about my 2010 Corvette Z06. So I thought that today I'd do a video on my car and what I've been driving around that I call the Triple Vet. Uh, I've got a lot of new subscribers. Thank you all. Make sure you tell your friends about me. Make sure everyone hits that subscribe button. Uh, but I've got a bunch of new people and a bunch of new viewers and I just figured that I would kind of talk about my car uh, and what's going on with it, what's new with it, what's old with it, what I do with it, uh, since uh, perhaps you haven't seen some of the old videos. Of course, you can always go back through my videos on my channel and check all those out, uh, and you can get some more details about the car and see some of the things that I've done with it live. But anyways, this is my 2010 Corvette Z06, uh, and basically it's my baby, and it's also what pisses me off all the time. So this is Triple Vet, and where that name came from was it's uh, my racing team, if you will. Uh, it's a couple of us, so basically we ran this event called One Lap of America. I've got a ton of information about that on my channel as well. But we ran this car during One Lap of America in 2017. And uh, the triple vet name came from the fact that it would be uh, a triple threat car. It's a road course car, autocross, drag race. It was also going to be triple vet. It's going to be two vets riding in a vet, two veterans riding in a vet. Uh, also, I have another friend, the three of us together uh, are three vets, triple vets, so it just kind of came about and happened. Uh, so anyways, that's where the name triple vet came from, uh, as you can see on my shirt here. Uh, so anyways, that's where the name came from, and like I said, we've taken this racing, I, I race it quite a bit, I put a lot of miles on it, I drive it on the street a lot, matter of fact, right now I am in Orlando, and for those of you that have been following me for a while and you know that I live, in Northern Virginia. I have some family in Orlando, so I come down here often, and I drive this car often. This car right now, as it sits, uh, is making about 525, 530 or so wheel horsepower. Uh, I do have uh, heads uh, from WCCH heads. I've got a BTR Stage 3 cam inside, and I've got a bunch of other little things. I'm also running a ZR1 twin disc clutch in the car. I've got Hawk HP Plus pads for the track and Posit Quiet pads for the street. Uh, as you can see, the car is dirty and used and abused. She gets rode hard and put away wet. I'm also running a set of Modulari wheels, thanks to them. They have been phenomenal sponsors, set me up with these amazing fully forged wheels. Uh, fully custom sized. As you can see here, these tires I'm running in the back are 345 20, or excuse me, 345 30 ZR19s in the back. And I'm running a 295 35 ZR18 in the front. And I may be upgrading that to a 305. We'll see what happens there. Uh, I also have stainless lines, so it's not a ton. I've got a little bit of custom aero work. I made this wicker bill right here for it. Uh, I took a ZL1 wicker bill and I fashioned it and I made it fit onto this car. It gives me a good bit of stability on the track. It's pretty nice. I enjoy it. The car also has some unintended modifications during racing at one lap. Uh, well, actually, this was on the highway. I uh, pulled over, had some other issues, ended up falling off the jack and broke all of this up. So now it's held up together with uh, Gorilla Tape. Yeah. 
This is one lap. That's what happens during one lap. This car has been all over the place. Uh, as you can see here, I got my little track squiggles uh, from some of the different tracks that I've been on. Uh, let's see, we've got Summit Point Jefferson Circuit, Summit Point Maine, Summit Point Shenandoah. This car hasn't been to Las Vegas, but this is an older uh, version of Las Vegas, and this is mid-Ohio right here. And then during one lap, we ran over at Memphis, Road Atlanta, Sebring, Carolina Motorsports Park, Dominion Raceway, and Gingerman Raceway. Uh, so this car's been around. It's gotten uh, some miles under its belt, having some fun. As you can see my tags, Wasting Gas. That's where the thought for my channel name came from. So the tags came first, the channel came second. Uh, the Wasting Gas plates were a lot funnier back when gas was like 8 bucks a gallon. But, you know, whatever, regardless. Still pretty cool now, I think. It's also not a factory color, right? So this has got a liquid wrap, right? This one is specifically... Uh, by rail. Some of you may have heard of products like Plasti Dip, things like that. Halo, Rail, these are all companies that make uh, liquid wraps, which basically are sprayed on like a paint, but then become like a rubberized... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It, it. it becomes solid. It goes on the car. Basically what it comes down to is... Oh, got no light. Let me get some light here. So basically what it comes down to is that whenever I'm done with the color of the car, I can just peel it off so it comes off like a vinyl uh, it goes on like a paint comes off like a vinyl but I never have to cut on the car I never have to uh, do heat and cool the surface like you would with a vinyl back and forth uh, so there's some some there's no seams like you would have with a vinyl uh, but obviously there's a lot more chance for mistakes and whatnot it's a it's a tough product to do but this is one of the things that I do on the side also and I've got plenty of pictures of the car going on right here. see I've got all kinds of different I've done all kinds of stuff with the car uh, all kinds of different designs let me go crazy and then when I'm bored with it I just peel it off so you can see like I said I've got the vinyl and then I've got the vinyl stickers for all my sponsors and whatnot over that I made a video before talking about this car and what it's like to live with daily and I talk about things that I like about it I've got a video about things that I love about the car and I've got a video about things that I hate about the car and I've got videos with all kinds of stuff about the car so uh, make sure you check all those out. Definitely, if you've never driven a C6 Z06, I highly recommend you give it a shot. Uh, these cars are a blast to drive. It's actually, it, it's amazing. They, key, they, they, they keep up with, they, they go up against, they go head to head with cars of today. Cars that, uh, you know, are, are top of the, top of the heat nowadays in 2017 don't forget this original design came out in 2006 so you're talking about you know something that was actually come up with in 2004 and 5 finally put out for 2006 and largely unchanged the last couple of years had little modifications uh, you could get the Z07 package I think in the last two years uh, which added the ZR1's carbon ceramic brakes and some of the aero and whatnot, and some more carbon bits in the car. Uh, but the reality is that most C6 Z06s uh, just came, uh, you know, have, have been the same since since always. The C6 Z06 is definitely a, uh, a bark, and nowadays you can find well modded ones, uh, low mileage ones in the upper 20s, low 30s. Uh, obviously higher mileage more beat on ones much lower than that uh, you know it, it's it's pretty incredible I mean you got to think it's 500 horsepower in a 3190 pound car 3200 pounds for all intents and purposes uh, it, it's a beast it's an absolute beast uh, heads in a cam and it really wakes up and it's still completely safe uh, the LS7 um, doesn't really flinch at it it's it's pretty incredible 
Um, again, I've driven this car on many, many tracks uh, all around the U.S. I've done many, 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 many miles, many road trips, uh, and for the most part, it's held together just fine. Uh, there's a lot of issues that I've created. Uh, I, I did some body damage and whatnot uh, during one lap. You can watch the video where I talk about that. And I had some issues for a while uh, with BCMs and with braking systems and whatnot. I, I don't know where the issues came from. 90% of it got solved when I put a new battery in. Uh, that is a downfall of these cars. They chew up batteries. There's always a draw. Something is, is constantly drawing. If you don't start the car, drive it in two or three weeks, you're probably gonna have a flat battery. So definitely putting on a battery tender is a good idea. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, these cars are, are pretty incredible. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a bargain beast. That's, that's kind of all there is to it. Uh, the speed is amazing. The handling is amazing. The brakes are second to none. great. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> so basically, that's the triple vet. Uh, pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Uh, follow me on all my other uh, social media pages, all that good stuff. Constantly putting stuff up about the car and all the different things that I do with it. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, make sure you hit that little bell and select notifications. If you have any other questions about the car, leave them down in the comments below, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.